and in the previous video we have uh, we have seen that uh, what happens if we use an if else statement so uh, if we have some condition we use an if else statement so what about uh, if i have multiple conditions like uh, if condition 1 is true then i have to execute particular code and then if condition 2 is true then i have to execute a particular code and then if condition 3 is true and then i have to execute a particular block of code so uh, this can be uh, this could be done via an else if uh, keyword okay so what i'll do is i'll just create a main function and inside the main function i'll uh, create a variable that is equals to 5 and what i'll do is i will create some conditions uh, such as if i is equals to 5 then i have to print that i is 5 okay and then again uh, else if i'll use the keyword else if and then pass the uh, condition if i is equals to 4 else if i is equals to 4 i have to print i is 4 okay so i can do that and uh, there could be as many number of if else block as required so i can use like here as many if else block i required else if uh, block i required so i'll just make that i is 3 okay then again i'll use the keyword else if i is equals to 2 then i have to print that uh, i is 2 then again else if i is equals to 1 then i have to print i is 1 okay so at the end of the uh, if else uh, block or else if block uh, we should must end with end it with a uh, else statement so like uh, what i am trying to say is else block is optional as said for if else statement so we can skip the else block in if else statement as well as when we use the if else ladder or uh, the else if blocks okay so i can here include the else statement or i can choose to skip that print i can choose the else statement like print i is not in not in 1 to 5 okay so uh, i'll just uh, change the value of i to 6 and then run this program so the So we can see here that uh, the output is i is not in 1 to 5 as mentioned in the else statement. So when I change the value to 5, it will print that i is 5. So the conditions are evaluated sequentially from top to bottom. And if a condition is evaluated as false, the condition, uh, the execution continues with the evaluation of subsequent condition. Okay. So from here, the the we enter in this code and, and we enter in this if else ladder so the first condition is evaluated and if the first condition is true then we uh, get out of the if else ladder and if the first condition is false uh, we evaluate with the subsequent and the or the second condition 
okay and if the second condition if the uh, and if any condition is true the corresponding block uh, against the statement uh, is executed and uh, we are out of the if else letter and if none of the conditions evaluate to two runtime minutes uh, runtime executes else block and uh, that too if else block, block is present so as I may I change the value of i to six. The else block else block get gets executed because um, every condition is false in that particular case. So that was if else ladder Kotlin if else ladder. So we can see here that the IDE is underlining this with a green. So uh, what it what it is saying when I hover over it, it's saying that cascade if should be replaced with when. So don't you think that this code is a little bit of redundant like we are using else if else if else if a lot of times and uh, suppose that I have 20 conditions so then I have to repeat 20 if else uh, else if blocks so when I go to uh, if uh, statement uh, it shows that uh, we should use when so now we will move on and study the keyword when so instead of uh, doing this I'll just comment it out what I can do is I can use the keyword when and then uh, and then what to check so like uh, I'll just open parenthesis and uh, write the variable that I have to check okay so when I okay and then Mm, I'll open this uh, code and uh, then I'll provide the values of i and if i is 1 okay so then I'll uh, just use hyphen and great, uh, greater than sign and uh, then I'll open a, a code block and then I'll write print ln i is 1 okay so what this when block does is when I went enter this when block when sta when statement uh, it assigns a condition that when i is 1 okay so when I write uh, below that 2 and then I open a code block okay so what it what it will do is it will pass the uh, pass it will execute this statement when i is 2 okay so like this is just one liner code so i have to write just print code so i will not use the uh, curly braces i'll just uh, type that when i is 3 print ln i is 3 okay when i is 4 print ln i is and when i is 5 print ln i is 5 okay so after all of this what i can do is i can just use an else statement so what if any of this is not true like i is not equals to 1 2 3 or 4 or 5 okay so i'll just use else statement and i'll i'll also have to use the hyphen and the greater than sign for that okay and I can use the curly braces if I want and uh, I can write that I is not in I is not in 1 to 5 okay so when I execute this code when I execute this code so I is 5 and then we enter this uh, when I go block and then it checks that whether I is 1 or not then whether i is 2 or not then whether i is 3 or not so after checking and getting this as false it checks that whether i is 5 or not so i is 5 in this case and then it prints that i is 5 and then it gets out of this when uh, when for function or when keyword okay so when i provide that i is equals to 6 okay and run this so 
uh, I have not mentioned here what to print when i is 6 but I have mentioned that what to print when i is not in 1 to 5 which is the else statement so that prints that but what happens when I do, doesn't uh, don't, don't use the else, else keyword okay so uh, when I don't use the else keyword and the i is 6 what happens is the codes get executed and uh, it is it does not print anything so when uh, else keyword is not required so i don't have to mention else keyword and it is not necessary but it is a good practice as uh, if the condition is not true if any condition is not true there is something to execute uh, uh, otherwise nothing will be executed okay so after that uh, we have nested if else so what happens if i have uh, condition 1 and condition 2 so i have like uh, if condition 1 is true then i have to check second condition so in that case uh, we use nested if else we can nest an if else statement inside another if else statement when when we say if else in this context it could be if statement or if else statement or if else if statement okay so uh, i'll just use an example for this nested if else uh, so if uh, i is 5 okay uh, i'll use to Ah, okay if i is 5 and then i have to check that if i is odd or not so that doesn't make sense but for understanding purpose it should make sense so if i is uh, divisible by if if i is divisible by 2 i have to check that so if i divided by 2 is 0 so then i is even so i have to print ln that i is 5 and even okay and I can just do that also but uh, I, as I mentioned that using an else statement is a good practice so else print again i is 5 and odd and I can again use an else statement here that uh, print helen i is not equal to 5 okay so when i run this function or run this code what i'll find is it prints the statement i is not equal to 5 because i have mentioned that i is equals to 6 i'll just go ahead and change the variable i is equals to 5 and then again run this statement okay so i can find the output is um, i is 5 and odd because i is 5 and odd okay so uh, here you can see that i have nested an if else statement under an if else statement okay so if this is the case then i have to check that if this is the case or not and if, if this is not the case then i have to print this okay so this is the example for nested if else and in this video we have covered what is nested if else what is if else letter and when to use when keyword thank you for watching this video